why are we making why are we doing it in the first place this i have i say all the time your book has a job to do if your job, book isn't doing a job then it's just a, a, a liability and it's a waste of space so your book has a job to do i think books have and all of your business assets have two jobs to do right and two parts of the job to do to produce an outcome and to advance the stage of communication so the outcome bit there are only three outcomes your book or any business asset should really be uh, doing it should be saving you time or money okay so i'll give you an example for a book if you are a, a consultant and you go out and you help uh, organizations sort out their business processes, you can save lots of time by giving them a book that outlines your methodology. And then when you go in, they already understand your methodology. You don't have to upsell the methodology. That's a way of saving time. And also saving money because you don't actually have to deliver the idea. The book delivers the idea, you're delivering the value, okay? It can, a book can create uh, revenue, you can generate your revenue, you can sell it, uh, yeah. Um, but also the book can sell you, and that's another way of the book generating revenue. And it can e increase the value of your business. So this isn't, uh, this is like, if you were thinking of selling your business in the future, or you wanted to bring in a franchises or whatever you wanted to do, it increases the value of the business because there is an asset, a physical asset. Okay, so that's one. So your homework is going to be to be thinking about this. What's the job your book has to do, okay? The second column to advance the stage. Um, everything we do as, as consultants, as trainers, as coaches, we've got other people involved, you know, we're actually trying to sell to other people or we're trying to convince other people to follow us. Or So there are people and we have to advance the stage of communication with those people. Um, the, I, I classify them in four, in four buckets. There are suspects, the people we suspect, it's, you know, or oh, they might be interested in what we've got to do or what we're saying. There are prospects, there are people who put their hand up and said, yeah, I'm interested, okay? So that's a different type of person. You know they're interested. There are experts, they've paid for something and they have an expectation of you. And then the one that we tend to forget, which are referrers. So they're the people who say, oh, buy this book, okay? So we, our goal, uh, is to decide what our, what outcome our book is is producing, and what stage in our communications with people.